where I got cut off. I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay. I'm just going to continue because I'm not recording that again. Okay. We, okay. I'm going to continue for environmental implications. So it creates... Okay. If you're... Okay. I don't know if this is relevant, but this is part two, by the way. So watch part one first. Okay. Environmental implications. It can create waste It because of, you know, more consumption, more probability that there will be waste from the food and also waste from just trash and like packaging from these processed foods okay environmental degradation obviously feeding livestock is much less resource efficient than growing grains for human consumption so it goes back to the idea of embedded water so we're kind of touching on you know how these food water and energy are all linking which is really important okay a third of cereal harvest and 90% of soya globally is used for animal feed. Some use cleared rainforest land impacted by climate change. Um, so actually, very, it, it, it kind of shows you food insecurity because all this food could be going to humans if it weren't for, you know, so much meat consumption in MICs and growing countries, growing economies. Um, Production of beef uses 12 times the amount of water for one kilogram of wheat and over five times the land. So again, bad for the environment. Um, yeah. Okay, now we're going to move on to energy consumption. So let's look at some general trends. Gen primary energy consumption by fuel. Okay, so let's look at the different types. Okay, so over the years, 1965 to 2035. Well, this is a projection, but yeah, okay. Oil is taking up the most gas is taking up again almost the most coal is also taking up the most like proportionally of all consumption but okay they coal oil and gas oil, these are all fossil fuels bad for the environment they are all increasing yes but it's kind of arguable that renewables are seen to be well, here, we don't really have much renewable. You have hydro and nuclear kind of growing. Well, you have hydro first. Then you have nuclear, and they both grow kind of the same. And then renewables are introduced in, like, 2005-ish, kind of more significantly. And then, actually, those are projected to grow quite significantly compared to what they have been in the past. And, um, well, oil kind of looks like it's growing at a slower rate, so that's good um okay and then we have shares of primary energy um okay so this is the shares that people own in types of energy so as you can see overall there's been actually a decline well gas has like not really declined but it's definitely kind of slowed in terms of it, the investment so that's good and we see that renewables actually are seeing kind of an a projection of semi-growth especially renewables hydro and nuclear not as significant like they kind of look almost flat here but i think they're a little bit sloped up but um still you know positive investment okay but renewables definitely see a trend here that they're increasing so that's something really important you have to realize okay now we're going to look at energy consumption by source across the world so this is low-key the same as this but Okay, that's literally kind of the same graph. Okay, well, it's not a projection, but... Okay, so you see that, you know... Okay, well, actually gives more detail. So these are all the renewables, and as you can see, they were very slim here, mostly, except for hydro, which has always kind of been there. But the other ones are all kind of being introduced from the late 2000s and kind of growing... From 2010 until now well, 2019 and hopefully that also increases like we saw here um but oil gas and coal still increasing um but it's good that we have this growth here because if this grows then maybe that can fall because of more investment becomes cheaper and stuff like that so just re be aware that renewable energy growth is happening okay now we're going to look at energy per use per person just um, in general, globally. Okay, so we see that the most energy is being used in the Middle East, a little bit of Europe here, um, North America, definitely. 
then followed by that is kind of Russia, Australia, some parts of Europe here in the north, um, Greenland, and then followed by that, kind of in the light orange area, is most of Asia, Europe, most of Europe, Northern Africa, South Africa, um, and majority of South America, and then you have the very low consumption is kind of well, not very low, but to, like low on the scale, like from here to 5,000. Kind of mostly in Central Africa, well, not Central Africa, just mostly in kind of Central, Eastern, Western, Southern, well, not South Africa. Um, some parts of Asia here, and a little bit of South America, but I mean, it's not really like low, this is more like middle. Um, yeah, so just take into account this trend and this is 2019 so it might, it might have changed now okay this is so many graphs but here is this is the change so golden age of new energy so of course we saw in a lot of old previous graphs um it here it looks like coal is kind of declining your word is has declined quite significantly oh boy well, this is a projection okay just keep in mind this is a projection so primary tra energy transformation this is like a, a model of stages so here we move from wood to coal more coal here secondary we move from coal to more oil sources so oil natural gas bit of new energy sources I honestly don't know what new energy sources re refers to. It might be renewables, but I'm honestly unsure completely. So I don't know, but I just thought this would be interesting because it shows so that we have a tertiary energy transformation, which kind of starts in the um, latter half of the 20th century, kind of, well, not really the half, like the latter third or last third. I don't know what to call that. And then it's like this growth, well, oil and gas are like definitely not seen to well expected to grow as much as this new energy is it's like all kind of decreasing so that's just an idea of like how energy consumption is changing okay oh my gosh okay two more graphs so here we have renewable energy so really important you need to be aware of renewable energy sources and if you don't know about the different sources and what they do like solar wind hydropower there's actually even more than this there's like biofuel, nuclear, arguably, and other things, this would be in the green part, go and do research because I just didn't want to go over it because I feel like, I feel like you guys, you guys should know them. Okay, hydropower clearly has grown, which is kind of strange because, okay, well, it does still grow here, but yeah, okay. Um, it's very significant, hydro is very significant. Then we have wind, which kind of comes more significantly used in the late 2000s solar late 2000s well kind of more 2010 onwards other renewables like they've just kind of grown from like here onwards or well, more significantly in the 2000s and onwards you've seen this big growth of other things than hydropower um yeah so just be aware of this changing consumption okay last thing we have global nuclear consumption so these are the countries with the most nuclear power consumption us france china russian federation south korea canada ukraine germany sweden japan spain uk um and this is in 2019 so could have changed and then we have this which is just a general showing of regional uses use of nuclear energy so uh over the years well here actually it was 70s and 80s it kind of looks like there was more in north america but then western and central europe kind of overtook them however they are still like relatively large as you move into the 2000s they're like quite equal to the western central europe um and okay so asia it's you know it is growing a bit of a decline here but it is growing overall um south america i think this blue part is south america which is like very minimal use but i mean it kind of looks like it's growing yeah i think it's growing um then you have east europe and russia which are not as much as the others of course but they are growing africa i do not see i don't i don't i feel like there's okay well i don't see africa here so 
just be aware of these proportions. Okay.